The Organ of Team Umizumi Prologue, the best bedtime story for kids. Today we have a book named The Organ of Team Umizumi Prologue, good bedtime stories for children. I think they're so pretty, I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. In world that's not so far away lies Umi City. Like all cities, it has tall buildings and busy streets. But there was one thing that made this city special. Now this city wasn't always called Umi City. Many years ago, the city was called Trouble Town. Why? Because the city was full of troublemakers, little purple creatures who, as their names implies, like to make trouble. They took things that didn't belong to them and wrecked them for fun. Their leader, Trubla, was the most troublesome troublemaker of all. Oh, Trouble Town was nothing but trouble. Until one day, a trio of tiny superheroes came along. The leader of the team was a young girl who could use her pigtails or ponytails as rulers to measure things. She could also change the color and pattern of her dress. Among her team was a young boy who could build things out shapes using his shape belt. There was also a tiny green robot who served as the best robot friends of the group. He could extend his arms and legs for hard-to-reach areas. They're meany, but mighty. You can count on them to save the day. Together, they are Team Yumizumi. No, this isn't exactly the Team Yumizumi you're family with, if that's what you're, at least not those kids that will remain nameless throughout this story, but we will see more of the robot soon enough, wink, as well as the Team Umizomi that you know, wink, wink, wink. Anyway, Team Omizumi would go around Trouble Town solving problems with their mighty math powers. Something broken. They'll fix it. Something lost. They'll find it. Not even the troublemakers were safe from those math-loving heroes. You could definitely count on Team Omizumi to undo the trouble they caused. The team eventually drove Trubla and her troublemakers out of town, with Trubla vowing revenge. Everyone was so happy to have Team Umizumi defending the city. They renamed the town Umi City in their honor. No job was too big for these small superheroes. They kept Umi City safe and made sure everyone was happy. As time moved on, however, the young girl and boy had outgrown their superhero suits and helmet. It even really came to the point in which the team went their separate ways. The boy left town so he can see more of the world. The girl remained in Umi City because, well, she has grown fond of the city and couldn't bear to leave it. As for the robot, he went on a mission to find a new generation for Team Umizumi. It took a little longer than he hoped. You see, one stormy day, he slipped on a mud puddle and crashed into a tree. He crashed so hard that one of the gears that gets him going cracked. As a result, he stopped working. He remained standing near the tree, unable to move. Five or six years had passed, and the robot was still standing near that tree. At least until one day, two kids, a sister and a brother, came by to play a simple little game of cat. And so begins our story. The end. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.